Hello and welcome to today's New Indian Express News Wrap. I am Rishi Sabarwal. The Andhra Pradesh government has decided to screen international passengers arriving at Vishakhapatnam, Vijayawada and Tirupati airports. The decision is in the wake of the centre issuing an alert to all the states in the wake of Omicron variant of COVID-19. The health department will set up special screening centres at the airports by Wednesday. According to senior health officials, all the passengers, particularly those designated at risk, will be screened for COVID-19 first with a rapid antigen test and then with RT-PCR confirmatory test. The state is also expected to have its own COVID whole gene sequencing laboratory at Siddhartha Medical College in Vijayawada by December 1st week, sources said. The lab is being set up in coordination with the Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology, Hyderabad and is being sponsored by DSPI. Meanwhile, the state registered 248 new COVID-19 cases and 253 recoveries on Saturday. No death was reported. Moving on to weather, heavy to very heavy rains are likely at isolated places in south coastal Andhra and Rajasima regions on Sunday. Light to moderate rains or thunder showers are likely at a few places in north coastal Andhra. Nello district has been receiving moderate to heavy rains since the morning. While Nello city and Kovur experienced downpour for over three hours, the upland mandals including Udagiri and parts of Atmakur segment also received rains. In view of the rain alert, Chittu district administration has appealed to the public to not cross any overflowing causeways. In a much needed relief for the people in Ramachandrapuram, the fishers on Rail Sharuvu tank were plugged today. The Telugu Desam Parliamentary Party, which met under the chairmanship of party head Chandrababu Naidu today, decided to urge the centre to declare the floods in Rajasim and Nellore a national disaster. Former MP Ondavali Arun Kumar lashed at Chief Minister Vyas Chagan Mohan Reddy and claimed that the latter had failed disastrously in his two years of rule. Arun Kumar alleged that the state slipped into a debt trap under Jagan's regi regime. He also found fault with opposition leader N. Chandrababu Naidu for boycotting the assembly. Unidentified men on Thursday night stole three crates of tomatoes worth 7,000 rupees from the Penuganchi Prolo vegetable market in Krishna district. Each crate weighed around 20 kilos. Vendors suspect that it could be a handiwork of people familiar with the market timings. The prices of tomatoes, which touched a record high of 150 rupees per kilo in Chittos Madhanapadi, and 130 rupees in Patikonda crashed today. They were sold for as low as 10 rupees at the Patikonda market, while a kilo of tomato fetched 30 rupees in Madanapalli. Fall in demand in Telangana and Tamil Nadu is said to have brought the prices down. With that, it's a wrap, and do follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and download the new Indian Express app for more news and updates.